This match is brought to you by Tomato Bar, Tiverton's well-established bar room in the heart of the town centre.
before or after the game, why not head to Tomato Bar in the heart of Tiverton? Located on William Street, the bar offers a range of soft and alcoholic beverages. Or why not pop in for a coffee, hot chocolate or cappuccino to unwind during the day? And if you're after a place to get your party started or to round off your weekend, don't forget to make Tomato your number one destination.
I thought it was a very tough game. The, the weather didn't play a, a great great part at all. We, it, we struggled in the air, but I thought the lads dug in well and obviously to make a couple of saves is a, a bonus. So, happy days. And I think he, he, he just thrives and thrives since you've been here at Tiverton Town. I mean, we're, we're so chuffed to have a Bristol Rovers under 23 goalkeeper with us here um, and the confidence is coming throughout the team. I mean, how are you enjoying your time here? Oh, I love it. I, it makes playing a dream, to be honest with you. And I think the lads have been, from day one, really, to end of last season, they've welcomed me so well. The managers welcomed me so well. And, well, even the staff and the fans like you and everyone else. And it's just a great club, great, well-supported as well, away and home. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it, definitely. And some brilliant saves. I mean, I think that that one today, there was a, there was a couple of uh, really good saves and important parts of the uh, the match as well, Liam. Um, as I say, we, we, we've got to make them saves and we, we just rely on you now and we expect you to make them. Um, how, how does it feel from your end? Well, you've cer certainly ramped up the pressure, definitely. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, I've lost a train of thought here, Scotty, but, yeah, it, definitely was. Well, yeah, I was just, just saying, there was, sorry, but we had uh, Scott Rogers interrupting us down there. We had just saying, we, we come to expect good saves now, which, which is bodes well for yourself, because as I say, when the ball comes through, we, we expect you to save it. So a lot, a lot of pressure on you, but let's say the, the club here and everyone's absolutely yeah. chuffed with you in goal for us, and you're just saying you're, you're enjoying it. Um, and the, the saves today, just take us through, I think, the first one. You, did you see it late? The first one, yeah, down, down low to me left, I thought... I thought, I'd, I, to be honest with you, I thought it was going wide, so I thought I'd better cover it. But to get a nice strong hand, I wore my new Adidas gloves today as well, so they helped. It, lot of, it was definitely a greasy out there, a greasy ball. So, yeah, to get a good hand and let it tip around the post, always a bonus. Lovely to see it. And I think that's a, that's a good result for us today, one all, because Farnborough is never a, oh, an, yeah. an easy team to play. I thought they played some good, nice stuff, Farnborough, Liam. Yeah, they, they, they're strong right through the, the spine of the team and definitely two lads on the on the wing. They're very tricky. Obviously, I think they've, they've lost their, their striker, I believe, to Hendon, which in some ways was a plus, but they, they brought someone in who, who did a good job today and I think the three Rhinos have definitely put, earned their money for Tiverton, definitely. They're brilliant, so... Yeah. And, I, and I think the Rhinos are, are well pleased to have a, you know you, you behind them, Liam. And we, we've got another tough game coming up, haven't we, on Tuesday, which is Weymouth. And Weymouth are one of the really fancy yeah. teams. So looking looking forward to the game against Weymouth on Tuesday night? Well, I'm going to prepare myself because I think I might be busy that night. So <laughs> I think it, it, it's obviously top of the table clash as well. I think the fans will really enjoy it. It, it should be a good game, really interesting one to watch. Hopefully the weather will hold off, improve anyway. So, yeah, we'll be looking forward to it. And I just want a, a quick shout out for Bristol Rovers because obviously the goalkeepers there and the situations there is amazing. We had Andre Alexis down with us, a great goalkeeper, and we were so chuffed to get yourself afterwards. Just a bit of a shout out for the uh, Bristol uh, Rovers, uh, the under-23s and the coaching staff up there because they must be doing something right. Oh, yeah, definitely working on with us every day. Obviously we're getting chances to train with the first team a lot and the first team goalkeeper and coach is really helping me out. Um, yeah, just really enjoying it. The co coaches are class, so definitely, yeah. And um, just when you make it in the Bristol Rovers team eventually, Liam, and just, just remember some of us fans will be tapping you up for a few tickets, I think. <laughs> if you want to make that trip out, yeah, definitely, by all means. But, yeah, it'd be good to see you lot down there if I do it. Shade to Ben Foster. <laughs> yeah, um, Ben Foster, obviously um, near to my heart, because obviously a Watford uh, legend, <laughs> played down here at Tiverton Town, um, Man United in England. I mean, obviously that's, that's a long way off, but I mean, I did hear a few chants of uh, Liam Armstrong for England, but maybe a bit previous, but I say you, you, you're in the right place to, to learn your trade and, and go up. But we just want to say um, thanks, Liam, for being with us and look forward to some good, more performances this season. Yeah, look forward to it as well. Thank you. Cheers. I thought that was a fair result in the end, Dodge, a, a, one, a one all today. We had some good chances, though. Maybe maybe you feel we, we should have won it, but um, no, not a bad result coming off a long, long trip to the Met Police on uh, midweek. I think you're spot on there, um, Jay. Uh, I mean, the, the, the travelling in the game itself with the extra time on Tuesday, I think, took a lot out of the players. Um, I think you probably look at the Taunton result and the uh, Met Police result, I think it's probably uh, just one of those things when... When you've done that sort of travelling and you've had two tough games prior to the, the game today, um, it was always going to be difficult. But I thought the boys, they, they stuck at it. You know, we weren't our best today, but I think, you know, we, we've got a point out of the game and, uh, you know, they're, they're probably a useful side going forward. And I think it showed a lot of character again. Again, going 1 0 down Dodge this season. And uh, we, we turn it around yet again. And we were so unfortunate, I thought, with, um, with Levi's um, effort. 
yeah, I mean, I think he, he did everything right, and uh, to be fair, it's great defending to get to get back and, and clear it off the line. But uh, yeah, even though we're, we're disappointed, I think the results were probably uh, okay for us today. So uh, no, we've 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 had three games in a week, and uh, taking aside the extra time, we haven't been beat. So it's not a bad week. And a little shout out for our uh, goalkeeper. We've just done a little interview with him, Liam Armstrong. Um, we, we all know uh, we get good goalkeepers, don't we, down here at Tiverton. You seem to unearth these gems, Martin, time after time. Uh, I thought a couple of those saves were outstanding. We, we forget his young age, don't we? Yeah, he's a, he's a cracking lad. And, uh, you know, he's pulled off a couple of great saves today and, he, and kept, it, kept us in it. Um, but he's improving all the while. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got a good future ahead of him. And it's a bit of a shout out for the lads coming in as well because I thought we had Harrison Davis coming back today. Also, I thought had a, had a good game in there. We've got Ethan Phillips and Callum on the bench, obviously raring to get starts as well. We've got competition still all over the place. I think so. A, a credit to uh, the club and credit to the lads for keeping keeping their pecker up, really. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good squad at the moment, and uh, you know, there's players desperate to to get a starting spot. Um, you know, you know, we've lost obviously. Uh, River to to Truro, which is a you know is a big blow because to be fair he was a really good player for us this year, um, but uh, the, the lads that get chances um, whilst whilst he's not around, um, but I'm still probably going to be looking to make sure that you know we're a little bit stronger, so I'll be delving into the transfer market. I'm sure. Uh, it's lovely to hear, especially for the supporters there. Um, Dodge, quite rightly, River Allen was um, was was class act on here. It's lovely to know that you know there there is a bit we are looking forward, aren't we? And and looking forward definitely to Tuesday. We we got Weymouth, which is a mouth watering tie for the fans and I suppose to the management and players as well. Yeah, it's an old club of mine, so I always look forward to playing the my old clubs and uh, you know Weymouth. I don't know who's top of the table at this moment in time, but uh, I think it's going to be a fairly good top of the table clash on Tuesday and well worth coming down to, to watch. Definitely second that. The uh, last season we played Weymouth down here and it was a great game. We ended up being winners, narrow winners I think it was in the end and, and a good crowd coming down here. But the lads are playing some good football so to get down and watch a top of the two top of the table Southern Premier teams, you, you can't beat it. Non-league day today and uh, I think you just can't beat that non-league can you Dodge? No, nah, it, it'll be a fantastic under the lights on Tuesday you know, uh, Weymouth are riding high at the moment um, and we, we seem to always get good games against them I think both games we played last year were, were well fought out and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it Thanks Martin that's just uh, wrapping it up here from the Ian Moorcroft Stadium Ladies Mead thank you for that and uh, we look forward to the game on Tuesday and then following Chesham away another game on uh, next Saturday thanks Martin Cheers Jay